Good morning. It's February 19th, 2022. Again, it's a privilege to get a letter from a prophet of God in Jeffersonville, Indiana for the worldwide bride of Jesus Christ gathering together to hear this wonderful word. Before we get into the letter, I want to read this uh, definition of what Brother Branham says is, is what a fortune teller is. It's an impersonator of a prophet. You've seen pastors, evangelists get up and impersonate the gift of the prophet or to say that the word comes to them. And he defined that when they impersonated a prophet, that, that it was blasphemy. Here's the quote from the seventh seal. A fortune teller is a devil, see, devil's spirit. Certainly, did you know that? The congregation says, amen. Absolutely, fortune telling is an impersonation of a prophet, which is absolutely blasphemy before God. The seventh seal. So we do not want to uh, have anything to do with that. A minister or fivefold ministry must keep their place. They are not the divine interpreters of the word. They're only to repeat and to encourage you and me to hear the word in its original form. Now, here is a letter from Brother Joseph Brandon. Dear Stimulated Bride, when the day of the message came, we were all in one accord, in one place from around the world, when suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing, mighty wind. Good evening, friends. Let us stand now just a moment for prayer. The Holy Spirit filled all our houses and churches where we were sitting with his presence. Then the power of the revelation of the word began giving us stimulation of joy, stimulation of satisfaction, the stimulation that it's vindicated, it's proved, that we are the elected sweetheart bride of Jesus Christ. We are waiting with great anticipation for them seven thunders to utter their voices to us. For we know now without a shadow of doubt that we are that group who has taken the word of God. We'll slice and cut with it we can close the heavens. We can shut this or do that. Whatever we want to do. The enemy will be slayed by the word that proceeds from our mouth. For it is sharper than a two-edged sword. We could even call for a hundred billion tons of flies if we wanted them. Whatever we say, it is going to happen because it's the word of God coming from the mouth of God. We will have complete supreme control of the earth for we are an amateur God. God is the God of the universe everywhere, but we'll have earth under our own control. We can speak, we can name, we can say, we can stop nature, we can do anything we want. It is our inheritance that has been restored. Satan says, but they're guilty, but he screams out and says, they're not. They have confessed their sins and stand before me completely justified. 
I can't even remember it anymore. They are absolutely my son. That's not our idea, nor is it our word. But it is his word, his promise. For God never changes his plan or his way of doing things. He always uses man and he is telling us we are his fully restored and manifested bride that has stayed with the word. We have not been with anything but his original word. We have not flirted or even looked at anything else. But we have stayed with the voice of God, the incarnate word made flesh, vindicated pillar of fire, son of man, thus saith the Lord. We are his virgin word bride. Talk about stimulation by revelation. Like our sister at the well, we didn't have to tarry all night, nor tarry till the next night. We got it right now. We are his seed. That light stroked upon us and something inside burst forth to a new life. Now, we are on the road telling everybody we have made it. All wondering is over. God himself is speaking to us with each message we hear, telling us, you are the ones I've been waiting for. Now I'm going to take you to our honeymoon. I've made you a beautiful home, just how you like everything. We are going to spend eternity together. For us, the truth of the promised word of God has been vindicated and revealed. John 14, 12, Joel 2, 28, 2 Timothy 3, Malachi 4, Revelation 10. We are now filled with oil and have gotten stimulated. Would you like to have the same stimulation? You can, but there is only one place to get it. Like when Jesus was at the wedding and they run out of wine. They were truly drinking wine and it was giving them stimulation. But the best wine came direct from Jesus himself. Come drink the best wine and receive the best stimulation by revelation with us on Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time as we hear the fourth seal 63-0321. Be ready to be drunk on the Holy Spirit wine, Brother Joseph Branham. Scriptures to read in preparation for hearing the sermon, the fourth seal, 63-0321. St. Matthew, chapter 4. St. Luke, chapter 24, verse 49. St. John, chapter 6 verse 63 Acts chapter 2 verse 38 Revelation chapter 2 verses 18 through 23 Revelation chapter 6 verses 7 and 8 Revelation chapter 10 verses 1 through 7. Revelations chapter 12 verse 13. Revelation chapter 13 verses 1 through 14. 
Revelations chapter 16, verses 12 through 16. Then Revelations chapter 19, verses 15 through 17. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Psalms chapter 16, verses 8 through 11. 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 32. Joel chapter 2, verse 28. Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Malachi chapter 4. This concludes the letter of Brother Joseph Brandon. Now we appreciate uh, you coming and, and reading with us the letter from Brother Joseph Branham from the Branham Tabernacle. And I want to remind you, if you've listened to this video this far, that Jesus said in Luke, the 24th chapter and the 25th verse, I will read. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Even Jesus said that you have to believe all that the prophets have spoken. If you believe that God sent and fulfilled his word of Malachi 4 in Brother Branham, then we know that we need to believe all that the prophets have spoken. And we thank the Lord that is recorded on tape and is a part of the worldwide tape ministry. So thank the Lord that we are able to listen to it and to hear it again because it's been stored up. And we thank God for that. And until next time, God bless you and shalom.